What is going on everyone? This is Garen. So I just want to quickly talk to you guys about my most recent struggle when trying to schedule for bottom surgery and hopefully in 2024 this year. Last month, which is December of 2023, I had my consult with Dr. Delion from the Crane Center. Everything went great. I most certainly want to move forward with her. I do have insurance through Aetna, uh, which is also through my employer. And although Cranes does not accept Aetna, they can do an exception to still have Aetna cover my procedure as an in-network deficiency, um, which is also classified as out-of-network deficiency. So I just want to let you guys know that right now I am struggling to get on the schedule for surgery unless I do one of two things. One, either give the Crane Center a $27,000 deposit, which is about 50% of what my surgery will cost for bottom surgery. Or two, they have to receive the in-network exception from my insurance. So I just wanna let you guys know of this struggle because it is something either you may be facing or you could face in the future. But please don't let this disrupt you know, what you're planning to do in the future. It's just a hiccup, something that I feel very confident I will be able to overcome. My fingers are crossed that everything will work out with insurance because they do cover TransCare Health. Um, you know, and, and I wouldn't want to throw $27,000 just being held in the deposit when I know I have insurance that can cover me. You know, worst case scenario, if my insurance doesn't fall through, you can still do, a, you know, an appeal to have them revisit the reasoning why. I feel really confident with them. And, you know, insurance can change at any time. I cannot guarantee I'm going to have insurance come surgery day. So that's going to be another hurdle that I may have to cross in the future. Uh, but again, don't let this really take away from your experience. I know it can get frustrating. I know it can get disheartening because deep down, you're just wanting to really move forward with your gender dysphoria. I get it. I feel it. I'm in the same situation. It doesn't come easy for us. And these are just a part of those things that we do have to go through. So, you know, stay strong as much as you can. Let me know if you're facing the same issues or if you have any questions about what I'm going through and any of the process I've gone through so far. I have been able to get my insurance to approve me for my electrolysis, uh, which was great. And the way I was able to do that is by an added network defici deficiency as well. Um, so let me know if you guys have questions about any of the content I made so far. And I'll be happy to either make a video or reply back. Uh, but thank you guys for staying tuned. I know this is quick and easy. And like I said before, I don't have a cadence on when I'm going to post videos, but I at least want to share what I'm going through so you guys know you're not alone and we're in this together. So I will talk to you guys again and stay tuned for some more in the near future. See ya.